Hello and welcome back to my let's play of Our Andalus in Europa Universalis 4 uh, in the Verita Z42 Dear Modern. Well, here you can see I have just came to the point where everything's not really an issue. Like, the rebels got squished with no issues. And to be honest, the Byzantine, due to insufficient bureaucracy, have just been falling and falling and falling. They still are. And that thing's just been an issue the entire game since a certain level of expansion, I think. I don't even know what that is, but I don't care. So either way, I'll just go with that. Egypt is just at war with everything. Because, you know, the Mamluks and that are having a go as well now. Now, I still can't declare war on anyone because of agencies. And god, how many modifiers do I have? I have like near permanent 70 plus prestige. Jesus Christ. But either way, how do I put this? Since I'm grinding to an inevitable halt, in terms of it's more actually. The truces that limit me, than the fights themselves. The fights themselves should be the challenge, but they're not. I need to get the a. Well, it's a inquisitor, isn't it? And inquisitors, or such, appear. See. It's definitely administrative, isn't it? So, I'm gonna fire this guy. Well. So, we've gotta wait for a new advisor now. Who the hell is invading Media? Why is Kiev in Media? What is this? But Media is basically. They've wrecked the Byzantines. And they've taken some land. Nice. And also, another nation I thought about playing is, judging by England's success this game, it's very, very possible to establish a pretty big empire here. And you know what? It might be interesting to stab take over France as England. And I can't remember if you can form the Agnivin Empire in this. You probably can't. But it'd be nice to see what I can do. Either way... The Mamluks have been shrekt, because Oman decided, let's kill them. To be honest, I should get rid of Oman quite quick, too. Like, they're not worth that much war score, even if they get all the Mamluks in them, but... Things could get issuous in other ways, too. And I do not want certain things happening. Kurdistan and Samara. But either way, I'm going to need a new fleet here for transports anyway. So, let's see. 20 transports. Valia. Go in focus in Cadiz. I can't remember how much it costs, but it costs probably very little. Yeah, they cost... Yeah, it cost 8 ducats, I think. 8 ducats. So, for another 3 years, I've got this pretty decent stuff. And I can convert most provinces. Excluding like these really difficult to convert ones. Like Cyprus for example. Now if I can convert these, it'll get a lot easier in the long run in palm oil. Con convert action... Okay. I don't see how those two are related at all, but if you say so. And enlarge the bureaucracy. That's the only option I have. So does that mean... My bur bureaucrats, bureaucrats, I think that's how it's pronounced, are the best in the world. Meritocracy, quality of the central government is 101. That sounds like the highest you can get. And the governance, that's at 433. So basically, what's a revolt? Uh, what's the... Uh, I don't even know what I was going to say. Yeah, I am so awkward right now, I have forgotten what I was going to say. Magic. 
But either way, I'm just going to convert as much as I can in the time I have. Medina and Mecca both are going to be converted. But Damascus, which is more difficult to convert, is going to take a while longer. Judea, I think I can convert at some point. Apart from the fact that it has pretty decent development. So I'd get that, but I could also go for the next idea, which improves my province trade power, which is probably what I need. And I find it sort of odd that Al Andalus, a nation which itself didn't really. It didn't really. It was converting what it had in Iberia at uh, its initial establishment or something. I can't pronounce words right now. But basically, it was doing its best to convert Iberia. I think the Al Andalus was more a theory, if you'd like, in a way. Can I convert this? Nope, I can't because screw me. I can't convert any of the Egyptian land, really, basically, which is a bit bothersome, but... I'll convert that, then. So, either way, I'm going to try. May as well give it my best shot. I'm going to need to get some form of... Inquistador. That is not an Inquistador. Truce the Byzantines are gone, and Kurdistan is just going a little bit apeshit on them. And I think Kurdistan, yeah, look at that. Kurdistan wants to be a whole connected nation again. Yeah, Kurdistan's lost its shit on them. And the moment I have the opportunity, I'm gonna wipe Egypt up. And oh man, can't get all of Arabia set up effectively. You know what, I should go for this, because it does have one advantage. If I avoid falling behind in tech, I should be okay. Especially good in other categories, but it doesn't matter. Not now, anyway. And well... Diplomatic tech cost, I don't really care. Infantry ideas, I could go for the next tech, but it is pretty expensive. So, let's see. Infantry cost. Yes, please, I'll have that. And also local traders. So I've just got my Iberian bazaars. Trade efficiency and trade domestic power. Both work. Very good. And my maximum manpower is just a uh, tenth of a million, so not doing too bad, is it? Not at all. Now, let's see. I'll probably go and wipe up this here, the Byzantines, but I could also instead focus on clearing up the rest of Arabia, so get all of that, oh my god, they're just having a bad time, aren't they? Well, next place is there, Cuba, that's St. Thomas, you go there. My Cuban holdings are not very well defended, but let's be honest, when this is what is occupied, uh, colonized of America at this time period, do I really have an issue? Like, the biggest threat was Norway, and Norway isn't really doing anything anymore, are they? Well, I could either lose prestige, which doesn't really bother me because I'm losing it slowly anyway, or I could lose diplo power. I'm just going to lose the prestige and I'll begin gaining it again, like that. I will be settling around 70 prestige permanently, really. But yeah, once all of this is actually colonized, my aim will be to 
Uh, excuse me. Did I just... What? What's this? What is this about? Explain. There's Andalusia and Colombia in North America because why not? Or something. But either way, Zapotec doesn't look like it's doing too well. The Maya are not looking too great either, are they? But either way, I could probably colonize this and begin a war against Maya, establish a nation in the area, which will continue its future wars against them but then again there are other things I can do and right now I think I should finish on mopping up Arabia something I'm gonna be able to do the moment this child comes to the throne at this point he's a teenager but it doesn't matter now either way I have some pretty terrible conversion ability and you are what I want you do sort of sap my entire income, but it's worth it, I think. And Kurdistan just gained that. So let's just begin fabricating on anti... Just these two provinces are really the main thing I want to gain right now. Kurdistan I am probably just going to get rid of. And well, I'm converting just a little easier now. So is he is he a free free free? I think I read that right. Free 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 free. Yeah, basically perfectly average, which is quite nice. And do I really need to focus on that? Not anymore, anyway. Do I? So, either way, the first thing I want to do is annihilate Oman. I should probably... There's a revolt coming up. It's Coptic Zealots, Medina. Is Medina converting still? Yes, it is. Yeah, you can't stop this. You can't stop us. We're gonna get through this. Now we have a positive stability, so that helps with things, doesn't it? I'm just going to convert whatever takes the least amount of time here, because it's also the most surefire way of getting conversions. Now, should I risk putting... Yeah, I'll risk putting him on the throne as a leader. So I'll start a war against Egypt soon, which will basically involve, say, you know, wiping up their Arabian possessions, which isn't too difficult, is it? Wiping Egypt up anyway isn't going to be too difficult, is it? Egypt is pretty pitiful at this point. And take a dam. The dam is down here, isn't it? Yeah, it's down there. It'll be okay. Let's go to there first. The area's over here. I'm just not bothered about it. can wait. Are they just going to go and siege the fort immediately? Because they're going to lose that battle. But no matter how hard they try, that is a loss for them. Because that's going to finish basically inevitably unless I get pretty unlucky, let's be honest. Let's go back up there and siege that up. I'll get a border with Ethiopia. I'll push this one down over here a little. In effect, I'll be winning either way. So, rest of the troops to Cuba. You go and wipe up the autos. You go and... Uh, not autos. Oh, man. Perhaps I could put an entire army down here to wipe up just Egypt, but... You lost? Well, that's awkward, isn't it? Let's 
Yeah, there's a lot of things that could happen here. So, you're going to go there now. Let's send you down here, wipe up Egypt's Arabian possessions. While I'll... Rolf stomp them, if you like. That was pretty nice. And I'll probably wipe up... Get rid of the Mamluks too. They have no tr uh, tr spices, so can't get that off them. Oh man, just finished with them, which is a bit of a pain, but it doesn't matter. So let's see. I have two armies down here, and they're both going to effectively be able to deal with any army of the enemy. So let's look at this. Oman is going down very rapidly. I'm succeeding in Arabia spectacularly. I cannot speak because, you know, reasons. Jazan, gonna be mine. Two thousand versus twenty thousand. That isn't even a fight. So let's siege up their capital. It's already at seven percent, so it's sounded a pretty slim chance at getting it immediately. It wouldn't matter much if I didn't. Alwar's finally arrived. And they're probably gonna be annoying as hell in all honesty, aren't they? So Coptics are gonna be mental soon. 11th. What? Are you kidding? He had to die that early? And that wasn't even from the siege. He wasn't. He was leading this, and he died, and he would have lost. I would have lost two stability. But guess what? Nah. He just died of natural age. Wow. That is just mean. And for shitting. I am going to kill this Oman army, and I'm probably going to make Oman regret its decision to be a little annoying in this. And they, of course, turn the fort on just as it gets. Oh, my, Alwa is going to be annoying as shit, isn't it? Hey, Oman. You want to be an annoying bitch, do you? Let me teach you what happens to annoying bitches. They die. Horribly. In a fire. Alwar's going to suffer the exact same. So look at this, they are apparently already at 99. Put it this way, I'm just going to reduce them to nothing. Voila. But yeah, that guy literally died of his age, naturally. Wasn't... The game wasn't being like, ah, oh, nah. It just said he died. He had rolled unluckily as hell. And he was a good ruler, too. Gutting. Either way, got to cope with it. No longer got any stability. Which is, you know crucial in managing a lot of crap. And the Egyptians, of course, are going to be a bunch of cocks and go and siege one of my newly gained provinces. Provinces which are still building troops, actually. Troops that I do not need or want anywhere over here. You're not needed. You can just get deleted and go back to hell. Oh, you're going to try and go and do something, are you? Now, look at this. They're just, Alwar just needs to die, and I am planning on fulfilling that. Because I'm going to make them die quite horribly.
Now once Egypt has lost Adan, they shouldn't last much longer. Ethiopia has been an issue here to them. Let's get some piety, because I'm going to damn need it. So Egypt basically is in a situation of, oh shit, I am fucked right now. But either way, let's go to the end of this year. Really unlucky the king died early. I do doubt it was for, you know, legitimate reasons. In battle, or the siege, that he died. Because I only lost one stability. The game itself says you lose two if he dies in a battle or siege. Which is gutting, nevertheless, that he died. Either way, I'll have a perfectly average dude taking over. And let's be honest, that's okay with me. Now I have to go and deal with Alwa, who are still being a bunch of annoying pricks, you know. But either way, I should have stopped by now. Why did that not pause? Either way, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time where we'll finish off Egypt, get all of that land. Egypt will then probably get finished off down here. Hilariously. And hopefully, I can establish invasions into the Byzantines next episode, because, you know, the king died so young, which was stupid. I didn't expect him to die that young. He was only, like, twi- at best, he was in his 20s. I mean, that's sort of young. I really do not get it. Unless the Veritas at Fortitudo mod changes it, so that if they die in a siege, they don't lose as much stability. I'm not taking him. I'm saying he just got really unlucky, and oh boy, let me guess. France is over here. And France is over here. It's just they are not invade- uh, they're not colonizing all this yet. Yet there's tobacco here, and it's known. Why? Either way, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. This is what our Andalusian Empire looks like for the time being. And soon enough, we may even be a caliphate, which is lovely. Either way, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.